coming to you live from our queen size bed. This is Angel with Midnight Music. I am currently going through one of the most challenging seasons of my life. One where I have to constantly make sure I'm moving in integrity and maintaining my integrity. Being honest, communicating more effectively and and strategically. Because there are situations happening that involve and impact more than just me. And I've never been one to try and drag somebody's name through the mud or tarnish anyone's business or brand. But I'm going to be honest. Because I've lied a lot in my past and I've seen how God has graced me through it but I've always had to answer for it like I will never forget growing up my parents never gave me an allowance they never gave me an allowance and I used to want money so that I could buy things at the store like pens and papers and just like little stationary stuff I always love stationary things especially Lisa Frank y'all remember Lisa Frank shout out to my girl But I found myself one time, my dad had a drawer in his bedroom, top drawer. And my mom and my dad used to keep change all the time and save it and, you know, wait a long time to, you know, like roll it and cash it in and stuff. I used to love helping him count it and roll the coins. But he had money. He always had a bunch of change quarters, dimes, nickels. And in one season, I found myself determined to get some money so that I can buy whatever it is I wanted to buy. And I would slowly every day go in there when he was at home and take a couple little coins out because right, he not going he not gonna remember that. But I would go in and take a little bit here and there. I think he would notice until one day I was washing dishes and he came in there and gave me the butt whooping of my life. And he said, I know you've been taking the money. I don't even know how he knew. I can't remember how he found out. Maybe it's because all the money was gone and I all of a sudden had a bunch of change in my room. <laughs> gave me the butt whooping of my life. Right. That showed me then. And of course, other instances later would come along. But to always maintain my integrity and I could have asked my dad for money but I decided to do it the slick way instead of facing my fears and you know just communicating and asking for what I needed so I'm in a season of where I'm being challenged to ask for what I need to ask for help a little bit more where I'm just used to taking care of things on my own I'm used to Figuring out ways to, you know, get it done on my own. And there's nothing wrong with that. And there's also nothing wrong with asking for help. Especially if you need it. All in all, what I'm facing impacts a lot of people. So it's important that you stand firm on your morals. That you stand firm on integrity. Remain honest. Know what you know, regardless of who is speaking ill against you. You know what's true. And I promise you, the truth will always come to light, regardless of who acknowledges it. And the wrong will always come to light. Whether you receive justice or not, whatever However things play out in your life, we got to trust God and we got to keep speaking what is true because what's going on around us and what we see right now 
might not necessarily look like what's true. But maintain your character. Strive to be a person with great character. With great integrity. Regardless of what it looks like to other people. Regardless of if standing on integrity makes it look like you got less. Makes it look like you saw for you a fool or whatever the case is. Let God flex his muscles. Because in the word it says that God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. So I say, Lord, flex your muscles like you ain't never flexed them before. Flex, Lord. Do what only you can do. I'm going to do what I can do. And allow God to do what only he can do. Be a person of good character. Be honest. Even when it's uncomfortable. Speak truth. Be okay with having to apologize. Be okay with getting it wrong. We admit to that. And you strive to not be perfect, but to be fair, but to be just, to be honest. I want my legacy. I want my girls to know that their mama not only fought for them and fought for them to have a voice and fought for her voice, but that their mom was honest and that whatever information, assets, whatever their mama is leaving behind for them is timeless and that is built on a, a solid foundation. That has been on a truthful foundation that nobody can take from them. Move with honesty, y'all. Seek God for wisdom on how to move if you're unsure. I'm with you. And we're going to get through this. Small thing to a giant small thing to a giant. Now y'all go don't, don't, don't go get your bowl of cereal. Okay? If you like me, I don't know. It's like the cereal tastes better after 12. Nonetheless, the sugar is not the best at the 12. But I digress. Anyway, y'all go be great. I love y'all and yeah.